Who's at the front door? Guys, you have to help me. I just checked my ring doorbell notification and there are two Jehovah's Witnesses at my door. I don't know what to do. I'm not prepared. Um, uh, where is... Hide! Is that your typical response? It used to be my typical response. And you don't know why? It's because I was not prepared as a Christian to engage with a Jehovah's Witness. So in today's video, I'm going to give you some talking points to help you guide the conversation and point these people towards Jesus Christ. So first and foremost, what I want to remind you is something that we are told in 2 Timothy 3.16. 2 Timothy 3.16 says, All scripture is inspired by God and profitable for teaching, for proof, for correction, for training in righteousness. Going into verse 17, So that the man of God may be adequate, equipped for every good work. Jehovah's Witnesses believe that just like we believe that. They also believe that the Bible is the inherent word of God. So when refuting anyone who has a theological difference with you, we need to examine what the scripture says. Now, Jehovah's Witnesses actually provide a challenge in this regard because they're going to come to your door with their own copy, their own translation of the Bible. It's the New World Translation. If you have the popular Bible app on your phone, you won't even be able to find this version because it is really specific to Jehovah's Witnesses and most people consider it a heretical translation. But we do want to be aware that they are bringing this version to the door because we can't just pick any verse because they could throw off any verse by just, or shrug off any verse just by saying, well, your translation's wrong. My translation's correct. So we want to pick something that is in their uh, translation that is comparable to what's in our translation. Because again, they believe, like we believe, that the Bible is the inerrant word of God. Now, understand that Jehovah's Witnesses don't believe that Jesus Christ is God. They downplay his divinity. So because of that, we need to start by asking them a few questions. So I encourage you to engage them in the conversation, but ask a few questions. First, confirm that they don't believe that Jesus Christ is God. So ask them, say, what do you think about Jesus? Is he God? Then second question you want to follow that up with, what would it mean if Jesus was equal with God. And that question is vitally important because they're going to answer that question and they're going to say, well, if Jesus was equal with God, then Jesus would be God. But we don't believe that because they answered question number one where they would say Jesus is not God. Jesus is not equal with God. So then from there, you want to just point them to John chapter 5, verse 18. And I'm going to read you John chapter 5, verse 18 from the New World Translation, just in case there is a Jehovah's Witness watching this video right now. The verse says, This is why the Jews began seeking all the more to kill him, because not only was he breaking the Sabbath, but he was also calling God his own father, making himself equal with God. So, if the Jehovah's Witness at your door said, if Jesus claimed to be equal with God, or if Jesus was equal with God, he would be God, well, this verse, in their own translation, is saying that Jesus was calling God his own Father, making himself equal with God. Remember, if you're a Jehovah's Witness watching this video, you believe that your translation is inerrant. So there is no error in that passage. So you have to come to terms with, what does that mean? What does it mean if Jesus is equal with God? Well, it's simple. It means that Jesus is God. That is the truth, and that is what the scriptures teach. This is not going to convince them. This is not going to change their mind right on the spot. You're not going to have a convert from Jehovah's Witnesses to Protestantism just because you showed them this one verse. But it does cast a seed of doubt. And that's really all you can do. Because remember, God is the changer of hearts. We are just the deliverer of the message. But I want you to be prepared. I want you to deliver the message well. Because I wasn't prepared the last time I spoke with a Jehovah's Witness. And I regret that. Because there was so much more that I could have said or done. And if you come into a conversation equipped and prepared, you will do your job as a Christian. Always be evangelizing, and you will do your Lord well.
All glory to God, friends. See you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.